Hi, I'm Dr. D. Many of my patients over the years have been asking me, what is the best way to incorporate a home care regimen into their routine to be able to ensure healthy gums, teeth, and bone? One of the questions they typically do not ask is, what is the order of how you should incorporate those steps? And what are some of the better products? Actually, there are two steps that you should take to be able to help prevent harmful bacteria from entering your bloodstream and affecting your heart. In this video, you're going to learn how to incorporate a sensible home care regimen into your daily routine, as well as what kind of products that would be of benefit to you. So let's get started. One of the first things you need to do is rinse. You start with a natural alcohol-free mouthwash, one that contains essential oils. Alcohol can kill bacteria in your mouth, but will also dry out your gum tissues and cannot effectively reach the harmful bacteria that live under the gum line. Essential oils such as lavender, peppermint, or tea tree oil can penetrate underneath the gum line around your teeth though. It is in this area that the anaerobic bacteria, the kind that is harmful to your gum and overall health, reside. It's important to neutralize these bacteria before you disturb them with brushing or flossing. Use the essential oil mouth rinse and swish about a teaspoonful, you really don't need a lot, for about 30 seconds, making sure the liquid is in contact with the gums all around your teeth. This action helps get rid of the pathogenic bacteria that live without oxygen, so you can go to your next step. Step two is flossing. Flossing is not just to remove food stuck between your teeth. It makes toothbrushing more effective, touching areas a toothbrush can't reach. Going between each of your teeth, including behind the last teeth in the back, floss should bring the plaque out from its hiding spot under the gums to the surface where it can be brushed away. Without a proper rinse beforehand though, flossing will disturb active harmful bacterial colonies under the gums that can enter the bloodstream if your gums bleed, increasing your risk for heart attacks and strokes. So it's important that flossing is your second step, not the first, and done before you brush. To properly floss, give yourself about two feet of unwaxed floss to allow enough for a clean piece for each tooth. While unwaxed floss is better for plaque removal, if it's too difficult to get around certain teeth, you can switch to the waxed variety, but it is preferred to use a non-petroleum-based wax, such as beeswax in that case. Ensure you work between each tooth, get underneath the gums, and trying to keep as much contact with each tooth as possible. Slide the floss away from your gums to bring the most plaque to the surface. After you've properly rinsed and then flossed, neutralizing the plaque and bringing it to the surface, you are ready to brush your teeth. Brushing is the next step. An important thing to keep in mind is that not all toothbrushes are created equal. The right toothbrush will not only clean your teeth, but also should be gentle on your gums, so it's important to choose an appropriate one. You may think that scraping the hardest is best, but using a toothbrush with hard bristles can actually injure soft tissues and cause your gums to tear or even permanently recede, leaving you with chronic root sensitivity. Make sure you use a soft or medium bristle brush to avoid this. When it comes to the amount of toothpaste, you'll see in commercials a fully loaded brush. That's too much. For the type of toothpaste, I recommend an all-natural toothpaste, one free from parabens, phthalates, sodium lauryl sulfate, and fluoride, which may make for a more pleasant brushing experience, but are unnecessary for oral health and carry toxic risks. To brush properly, tilt your toothbrush at a 45 degree angle and gently massage your gum line in small circular movements to clear out the plaque you've brought to the surface from flossing. After this, brush away from the teeth, either up or down, depending if it's the bottom or the top to whisk it away. Use a routine to reach the four main areas of your mouth, each for 30 seconds. Upper right, upper left, lower right, lower left, on the cheek, tongue, and top side. If you have an electric toothbrush with a built-in timer, they typically last for two minutes and can ensure you brush for the full recommended amount of time. This brings us to the final step, which is under the gum irrigation. This is a lesser known step and it requires a special tool called an oral irrigator that you can readily purchase in most drugstores or online. This tool will squirt water-based antibacterial solutions underneath your gum line to help clear out or neutralize any remaining bacteria. Simply mix a cup of warm, not hot, water with three to five drops of essential oils or a teaspoon of colloidal silver in your irrigator reservoir. Use the narrowest irrigator tip to get the antibacterial solution under the gums for each tooth, both cheek side and tongue side. This will help dislodge tiny food particles, reduce the anaerobic bacteria count, and maintain a healthy oral microbiome. So there you have it. My answer to the key questions of what order or what is the process in one's dental home care regimen. 
This routine will help keep harmful bacteria in check, and especially so if used with chemically free, all natural products. So thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to like us and hit that subscribe button to learn about more all natural, holistic, health-centered content. So long and see you soon. Bye.